Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So Summer Walker is releasing, you know, a album. Some of the alleged features are Cardi B, Lil Durk, um, JT was already confirmed. And it was confirmed, like I told y'all, SZA and Summer Walker have a collaboration. Okay, which I told you guys a few weeks ago. And then SZA end up confirming it. Um, also, Summer Walker has a song with Nicki Minaj. I don't know if it's going to be on this album because she already got JT and allegedly Cardi B. Um, with that being said, Summer Walker is going to get a lot of push. They're trying to make her the main R&B girl. That's why she had on the sex beta kitten outfit. Okay doing her symbolisms um as for SZA you know they feel like you know she's kind of hot and cold when it comes to the industry so is Summer but I think Summer is willing to take it to that next level she even referred to herself as the queen of R&B for the new school she did that a few weeks ago so that clearly shows that she's ready to take on that role now, do I feel like Summer Walker is the queen of R&B? No. Um, I think she's very talented. Um, I, respect, I respect her work, but I do not think that she's the queen of R&B. Okay? She needs, you know, a little bit more to her catalog for that. But let me know what you guys think about, you know, Summer Walker getting this push. Also, you know, JT and Young Miami, the city girls are done. It's just a matter of time. They're going their separate ways. Okay? I don't know if they can stand alone. Um, but they're going their separate ways. Young Miami's going to need a little bit more help than JT. Because, you know, Young Miami doesn't write majority of her music. Uh, Little Yachty was writing for Young Miami. Moving on to Lil Durk. You know, a lot of you guys don't pay attention to Lil Durk. But after Lil Durk allegedly gave up King Von, he gets all these accolades. Now he has the Beats commercial. You know, he had 35 songs in 2020, 2021 on Billboard. And y'all have not paid attention. But because Lil Durk ended up giving up King Von, that's why he's everywhere. Um, you know, doing a tour with Lil Baby. He had two to three songs with Drake in the last uh, year. Okay, he's getting a major push. Um, they want Lil Dirk to be a little bit more feminine. Okay, but he doesn't want to go that route just yet. Okay, because he doesn't want people to start questioning him like they question Playboy Cardi and Young Thug. Okay, but he's reaping the benefits for who he gave up. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see Lil Dirk. He's going to get a lot of different collaborations over the next year. Um, and he's going to be getting more of a push. Okay, um, the Little Baby tour is definitely helping him. Because Lil Baby is a little bit more mainstream than Lil Dirk. But he's getting up there. And, uh, you know, little Dirk, he doesn't care. He wants to be mainstream. He feels like he's still the underdog. Okay, from what I hear, he feels like he's still the underdog. He wants to be more mainstream. He wants to be big like Drake. Okay, he wants to be big like Travis Scott. So he's willing to do whatever. And I wouldn't be surprised if little Dirk tries to give up somebody else so that way he can be even bigger okay because he wants to be up there like drake and he looks at um he looks at drake as a mentor from what i was told moving on to karuchi and tiana taylor um you know they were filling up on each other at cardi b's birthday um you know tiana taylor she's by karuchi from what i was told um, you know, she was always bi-curious, 
But, you know, Chris Brown was making her do threesomes when they were together. Because Chris Brown allegedly told Karuchi um, that, you know, he was going to be sleeping with other women. So you might as well join. That's what I was told that he told Karuchi. So Karuchi ended up, you know, having threesomes with certain women. And she's always been a little bit vicarious. But she really wasn't sleeping with other women like that until she got with Chris Brown. Her and Tiana Taylor have a history. They've kissed publicly before at certain parties. Um, Big Sean put them on blast years ago. Um, And Tiana Taylor, we know she's a freak, okay? She's already talked about in records um, about doing threesomes with Iman, okay? Who isn't faithful anyway, so it wouldn't matter. That's why she's doing them, okay? Most of these chicks in the industry do threesomes with their man because their man is going to cheat anyway. I think uh, Tristan Thompson and Chloe might as well do them because Tristan, he can't keep his eyes off of other women. Moving on to Lizzo, who is super thirsty. She went to Cardi B's birthday party too. And she had basically on a sheer dress. Um, a see-through dress, okay? And the thing about Lizzo is she don't want people to talk bad about her, but she gives people a reason to talk bad about her. Now, they were dragging her on social media because obviously, you know, it's not flattering to Lizzo's body to wear a see-through dress, and I don't even know how it went with the um, the theme of, you know, the Jamaican dance hall theme that Cardi B wanted. But this is why I call Lizzo thirsty because it wasn't necessary for her to show up at that party but naked. Okay? She did it to cause a frenzy. You know, tumors... Is not going to move back up on the charts. Okay? She's just wasting her time. And instead of getting an organic hit, she always has to do something to get clout. And that's what I don't respect about Lizzo. And if she start crying on Instagram because of the negative comments, you know, I'm really not going to be too happy with her. Okay, and then people are comparing it to Rihanna. But the thing is, Rihanna has a better, better fashion sense than Lizzo. Nothing that Lizzo wears is really that flattering for her. You can be a big girl and still wear something that's flattering. Okay, you're not a fashionista. Okay, moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. She got a deal with Popeyes. You know, she got the hottie sauce that's coming out definitely won't be buying um but i did hear that megan wants to go into tv okay as a backup plan if the music thing don't go the way she wants you're gonna get into tv she's still gonna do the commercial deals okay but basically she already knows that it might be hard for her to go mainstream Okay, due to her complexion, you know, some of the records that she has put out with other mainstream artists haven't really popped off. So she's already planning on what she wants to do next. Anyway, like, comment and subscribe and have an amazing day.